I'm Leif Hansen for Betty Crocker Kitchens, and I'm going to show you the basics of pastry bags and pastry cones, which are used to decorate cakes and cupcakes. I'm going to start with showing you how to make a pastry cone. You can make them out of cellophane, wax paper, or parchment paper, and I'll show you how to make them out of parchment paper. To start, roll your parchment paper out. You want to get a perfect square, and actually we're going to cut that square right in half to make a triangle. One trick is to just fold this edge up until it meets the top edge then crease it, and then cut along this line. Now open it up, and you're going to use that crease as a guideline to cut your triangle out. Now it's time to form the cone. I have one over here. I've drawn a line right in the middle of the longest side of the triangle and that's where my point is going to form. To do this, take one corner and roll it in on itself so that the corner lines up down here. Wrap the other side around to the back. And you'll see that the two sides will line up right down the middle. Now you want to tape and wrap it around the tip. This will prevent the bag from opening while you're squeezing it. So there's your pastry cone. To fill it, Hold it in your hand, take a spatula, put some frosting on it, place it slowly into the bag, then pinch your fingers down on it and slide the spatula out. Now fold the edges down and you have your pastry cone. You can always cut a small hole or even a large hole, depending on what kind of piping you're doing. Now, I'll show you how to work with a pastry bag. You can use disposable bags or reusable ones. This one's a reusable one. You're going to need couplers and tips to go along with this. Open the bag and place a coupler inside. This will allow you to change tips. Choose the tip that you want to work with, place it on, then take the ring, put it on top, and screw it down, and this will hold the tip in place. Now we want to fill it. Turn the top edge over, cup your hand like a C, and place the bag over it. Take your frosting and scoop it inside. You only want to fill about halfway. This will give you more control. Now bring the sides back up. Now you want to twist. This will create a pressure inside the bag. Squeeze a little bit of the frosting back into the bowl to make sure there's no air bubbles. Now let's practice piping. Now, twist the bag at the top. You're going to grasp it like this, and this is where you're going to squeeze. Guide with your other hand. I'm going to do some lines. Now, that's a pretty straight line. If this happens to you, it means that you're squeezing too hard and not moving the bag fast enough. If this happens where it gets little breaks, it means you're not squeezing hard enough and you're moving too fast. So try to get a balance. Just keep practicing going back and forth. I'm using a round tip. Why don't we try a different tip to see what it can do? The great thing about these pastry bags is that you can change the tips and get different piping effects. Let's try a star tip. Let's start with the shell border. You're going to angle your bag at about 30 to 45 degrees, touch down to the paper, squeeze and hold in place until it starts to bulge. Then release the pressure, pull down, and let's repeat. The act of releasing pressure is called tailing off. Ideally, it'll come to a nice point. Overlap that point with the next one and continue. To make a rosette, you hold the bag perpendicular to the surface, squeeze, rotate the bag, and then a quick motion of the wrist to tail off. So there you have some ideas of what different tips can do. A pastry cone is great for lines or writing. I'll show you how to write. To do a letter, a great way for beginners is what I call bubble letters. Start with a dot by squeezing and holding in place, pulling straight, squeezing and holding in place again to tail off.
If you want the line to be thicker, simply cut the hole bigger. Just remember to keep the scissor perpendicular to the bag. If you cut it at an angle, the frosting will come out all messy. So those are a few basic tips. Have fun decorating. I'm Leave Hansen for Betty Crocker Kitchens.